evening all. So this, well, where to begin with this one? This is going to be, this is going to make you wince. If you don't like tanks, then I can only apologise, because this, uh, well, this is a tank troll, um, which is a new thing now, apparently. Um, this is what we would call an utter tank troll, because these are probably some of the the, the, the kind of high-end, um, top-skilled players in tanks in the game. Um, basically to, and there's not just one of them, there's two of them, and they're in two Cigaris, which are incredibly well fit, uh, as you're about to see. Now, there's not just two tanks on our team, because there's another guy, a couple of guys that have spawned in two tanks as well. So this is a, a squadron of tanks, four tanks versus uh, the enemy. Now, the enemy is no um, general rabble of riffraff. This is actually uh, a group of um, the top ranked corp in the game currently. And so this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, and you can see they're capturing stuff pretty aggressively. And again, I, I kind of am impressed at how, you know, the aggression that you show really does translate into success. And uh, the enemy team are obviously really quite aggressive. However, they've just met two cigars, not one, but two. Um, driven by quite, well, particularly good players. So what you're seeing now is basically the beginnings of a, demo a demolition of this map. So everything that can be shot is going to be shot. Um, and that's really the reason behind um, the tactics here, because firstly you want to take the turrets out, you also want to deny the ability to refit, you want to deny the ability to respawn, so yeah, you're going to see pretty much a, uh, a, a wrecking crew, they might as well just call these bulldozers. Um, but in terms of the tanks, they're both shield uh, tanks, they're both uh, level 2 Kaldari. Um, fits and uh, as you can see they've got a phenomenal tank, phenomenal shield and um, really what we we're trying to do here was just kind of showcase you know we, we've shown you certainly one tank of an armor and one tank of a shield type and what they can do now this is two uh, top end tanks along with two not so bad tanks as well I think they were actually militia but certainly tank you know driven quite well um, I think they did lose a couple of tanks but this is basically tank versus infantry now, for those of you who are immediately going, you know, oh, that's unfair, and oh, well, that's overpowered, and blah, blah, blah. Well, yes, it is, but there is nothing stopping the enemies either coordinating a decent uh, defense with forge guns or actually bringing in their own leveled tanks. Now, this is, again, this is real EVE mentality at play here because EVE is a, is a harsh game um, where, it, you know, you can't really sit there and say that's not fair because when you come to sandboxes and stuff like EVE, what what does fair mean? You know, do you think <laughs> in modern warfare anyone actually says, hey, that's not fair, let's not fire that Tomahawk missile? They don't give a crap. So you need to kind of get beyond that OP fair discussion. Um, only because I would say these tanks aren't overpowered. They're, they're powerful, but because the, 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 the pilots and the people who are behind them have really put their time and risk and investment into them. So, you know, they're putting like, what, 3 million, 4 million ISK, maybe more, 5 million ISK on the field. The enemy team has to do something to the same uh, s sincerity to take this on. So, um, anyway, I won't say any more of that because I know that's an argument we've had many times. But I would really say that these tanks are fun. They're amazing. Um, and it was interesting seeing, you know, they weren't invulnerable. And I know that a lot of people think that these things are just, you know, absolutely unkillable. It's not. Throughout this match, there were a number of times where, you know, they were, they were taking so much damage they had to retreat. And had there, <clears throat> you know, been a particularly good defense, like a couple of forge gunners all working in the same uh, uh, point, all actually literally saying they're like a firing line, stand ready, stand ready, right, everyone fire, boom then that forge gun volley would likely have killed these tanks. And I think that's that's where the game is going to get to. The discipline is going to be what you need to take out a very powerful opponent like this. Because, again, you know, these guys understand their tanks, so they understand the limitations as well. And, that, you know, that is why I think <clears throat> it's very difficult to call them overpowered because, you know, the, the simple premise here is that they they can be countered and actually quite easily anyway let's move on so as you can see the round is, is completely being lost to us and this is funny because obviously if we lose the round then these guys lose their tanks so uh, there was quite a, uh, a push now to get the points back and what you'll see is um, is a pretty phenomenal turnaround by tanks and the, these two tanks swung well four tanks swung the battle incredibly in our favor um, because they are actually able to <clears throat> basically push the enemy off the uh, the points. Now, again, I don't think the enemy called in any serious tanks. I think maybe one or two of their team called in something to try and take them on. But, 
again, there was nothing, <clears throat> there was nothing I would say particularly really, uh, you know, heavy to come in and defend uh, their capture at this map. So, you know, it comes back to that statement, if they're not going to commit, then people who have committed will win. It's, it's just like EVE. EVE has fleet battles where, you know, if somebody commits to bring 100 battleships, well, that's a huge investment. Um, the, the team that brings 20 frigates can't expect to kill them, do you know what I mean? And that, that's why I think it's, um, you know, th this, is, this really is a CCP game, <laughs> to be honest, because they are pretty, you know, merciless when it comes to, you know, fairness is a, is a frame of mind, um, and I think, to be honest, you know, <laughs> it's very difficult to give a shit about fair. I mean, I've been on the receiving end of these tanks more than I've been on the other side, and you just have to accept that if there's no organized resistance, then, you know, I'm afraid you're not going to do anything with these. And that's no different, because I'm sure there are dropship pilots who are just, you know, apparently unkillable, quote. Um, but it doesn't matter, because, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, they are killable, everybody's killable. But it comes down to how well coordinated you are. The amount of maps that we see now, where basically people are just solo running around, even if they're in a squad, and we're guilty of this, our, our corp is, is just as guilty as this because um, we kind of just get, you get kind of tunnel vision and you just think, right, that's it, that objective next, right, that objective next. And to be honest, it, it's it's actually where I think the, the difference between, you know, the good corps and the great corps will really come because um, you can be a good corp but, and you can be very powerful, you can have all the ISK and skill points in the world, but if you're not a team of coordinated killers, then you're only as effective as your weakest man, do you know what I mean? Or rather, you're only as effective as your solo man. Whereas in a squad, you're as, a, you're as powerful as your weakest link. So, and I think certainly with these um, these tanks and these, the, you know, they were working in unison, they were able to evade, look at this, we redlined them pretty much, um, <laughs> pretty much immediately. And um, what then happened was really then the, you know, all of their team are devoted to anti-tank fits. But again, they, they can't do anything because clever use of terrain, you know, numerous tanks as well. That was, a, you know, the funniest thing about it was, you know, there were four tanks on the field, maybe even five at one point. And, and the enemy fielded maybe one tank and he got blown up immediately because um, he spawned the tank in sight of a railgun. So, you know, who's, you, know, you can't say that that's like overpowered <laughs> because the guy's a moron for having done that. So there's a little bit of that kind of uh, fun going on, I would say. But I think certainly uh, this is uh, you know, a particular showcase of what these tanks can do. Um, Again, look at this, pr prowling around the perimeters. This is the way the game's going to go, as people now are getting to around, what, two million skill points maybe, you know, two and a half million, three. You know, this is where I think the game is um, is, is going. And I think it's like if you've ever played Planet Side, you know, an all-infantry battle in Planet Side is unheard of. Everybody has tanks at some point. Everybody has aerial units as well. So, you know, I think as people get more skilled, they're going to get tanks. I think as the tank thing kind of levels out people will start to use drop ships more because the sort of tier two drop ships can be tanked a lot better and you know i think they're going to become pretty pretty powerful again i'm, I'm predicting it um so you're going to see a less infantry focused battle at least i hope so and you're going to start to see more vehicles which is going to be awesome i think that's going to be um good fun but again i would stress you know the the the, the requirement if you like to treat this as a team game is um is quite important so you know, don't play solo, try and get into a good corp and just, you know, and learn the game. And if you hate tanks utterly, then I tell you what, you should get a tank, you should learn it, you should try it, and you'll probably end up loving it. And you'll see that they are inherently weak. It's just the ability to evade. It's, you know, it's like the skill of the pilot. And I don't think it's fair to nerf the skill of the pilot, because at the end of the day, if somebody, these two guys knew exactly what they're doing, they were, they were shit hot with it and those they shouldn't be penalized so if even if they nerf the tank chances are that nothing will change um and they'll carry on doing it anyway after all that jibber jabber it was a really good victory um and it was <laughs> it was just a, a fascinating turnaround because obviously they were being they were completely redlined at the start of the map then the tanks came into play and um basically they started to capture stuff so um you know it became a a phenomenal um, push forward and there you go 41 to 0 from ungodly whose tank I was in and then you've got adapting kill with 35 pretty scary stuff I'm sure you agree hope you enjoyed that see you next time